So, is it the fan? Is it the blower switch? Or is it the board? Well, the board powers the fan. And this is where it's powered up. That's where I'm measuring. You get 120 on one side. The thing is, is if the fan stops, the blower switch stops after, and then the relay on the board will shut the power off. So I already measured the blower switch. The blower switch stays on until after, a few seconds after the fan does. So I know that the blower switch is working. If the fan turns off before the power is cut, that means the fan's overheating because I've isolated. If the power, if it's still getting power and it's turning off, even though I'm getting voltage. And then you hear the relay click and the voltage turns off because the blower switch is bad. We kind of isolated the problem. It's not the board because the board's providing power. It's not the switch because the switch stands on. The, the, it's not the uh, switch because the switch stays on after the blower cuts out for a few seconds. So it's getting continuity. So right now I'm just seeing if this is gonna stay on. If I'm getting 120 and the, the motor cuts out, I would have to say that this motor's overheating after about five minutes. Uh, it may be bearings are going bad even though you can't hear them. It may be it's just getting tired and the windings are bad. We might have bad contacts. Who knows? Point is, is that the motor shuts off before the power is cut out. So if we're getting continuous power like we are right now and it cuts out, well, it can only be one thing, we got a bad fan. So, anyway, I'll let you know what happens in the comments. Peace.